we will prepare the trial balance directly from the general journal. In the left side of our screen, na dito yung ating journal entries for the month. So, one month data lang to dami data. The assumption is ganito yung format ng uh, journal. Yung basic na ano lang, general journal. So, you have the date. You also have the accounts. Yung mga account is nasa isang column siya. And then, you have the debit and credit. So, pwede naman na iba din yung format ng general journal. But, I know na after we have uh, detailed all of the process na kailangan in preparing the TB, magagawa mo rin siya in any type or any format of the journal. To begin, we have to copy-paste yung lahat ng account. As you can see yan, control shift down lang siya from the very top. So, simply paste yung nakapi na account. And then, we have to remove the duplicate. So, basically, what we want is yung chart of account. Click mo lang yung data tab. And then, remove duplicates. So, dito sa my task. Yan. So, after clicking yung remove duplicates, we simply have to continue with the current selection. And then, click mo lang yung remove duplicates. So, ngayon, meron na tayong um, chart of account. Working chart of account. The problem is, um, hindi siya naka-arrange. Kasi, di ba, sa mga financial statement, normally yung mga account arranged in order of liquidity. So, yung cash talaga dapat nasa pinaka first line item siya. And then, ang sunod naman is yung mga uh, asset din. But in this case, so capital kasi base nga siya dun sa journal. So, pwedeng ang gawin natin dito is manually, i-rearrange natin siya but that would be time consuming. So, gumamit tayo ng tinatawag na helper column. When we say helper column, yung... Gagamit tayo ng isang extra column. So as you can see, meron ditong blank column. And then, lalagyan natin siya ng mga letters or halimbawa numbers. And then, isosort natin yung account based doon sa ating helper na column. So parang ganto siya. Halimbawa, di ba ang type of accounts natin is asset, liab, capital, income, and expense. So let's say for example, doon sa asset, uh, gagawin natin siya lahat ng asset letter A. And then, lahat ng liability, letter B. Lahat ng capital account, letter C. And then, income, D. And then, expense, letter E. Para lang masort natin siya mamaya. So, for instance, yung cash, lagyan natin na letter A. And then, uh, what I'd like to do is, hanapin mo muna lahat ng cash, ah, lahat ng asset rather, para hindi nakakalito. So, yung prepaid insurance asset, lagyan mo siya ng A. And then, yung coffee machine is also an asset. So, asset din yung rent as well as the coffee supplies. Accounts receivable, asset din yan. And then, uh, wag mo kalimutan yung um, accumulated depreciation, yung contra asset account. So, asset na rin din. And then, punta naman tayo dun sa liabilities. So, let's start with accounts payable B. And then, yung salaries payable. Yan. So, after nyan, ang sunod naman normally is yung mga capital account. So, hanapin lang natin yung capital account. So, nandito siya sa taas. So, yan. Letter C. Isama mo na rin yung mga withdrawal. Ano? Kasi normally magkasunod yung account na yun. Yung mga account, di ba? And then, we have to... Uh, put letter D dun sa mga income account, yung sales revenue. And then as you can see, lahat ng tira is uh, puro expenses na. So lahat na yan, letter E. So now na nakapag-set up na tayo ng uh, helper column, we can now sort the accounts based on the on the on the liquidity order of liquidity so select mo lang yung block of cells yan kasama yung ano yung mga letters and then pupunta tayo sa data tab uli but this time iso sort natin yung mga account so simply click dun sa sort yan and then gusto nating isort yung mga account based doon sa a b c d e so Yung sa ano, sort na dialog box, click mo lang dun sa sort by 
yung column E kasi yung helper natin is nasa column E. And then, eh, ang order niya is A to Z. So, para A, B, C, D, E. Masort yung mga katapat na account. And then, simply press OK. So, as you can see, mas napadali yung pagre-reorder natin ng chart of account. You can now delete yung mga letters. And from this point, it is a matter of de determining the running balance. So, ito na yung parang pinag-merge natin yung process of uh, creating the T account as well as yung running balance for the unadjusted TB. We have to remember lang naman the normal balance of of the account. Di ba meron tayong acronym na AWILIC? Yung asset, withdrawal, and expenses, lahat yon ay normally debit balance. While yung LIC, liability income, at saka capital account, lahat sila is a credit balance, normal balance nila. So in determining the balances, we will use the formula sum if. So parang ganto siya. Equals sum if, and then parenthesis mo. Una is you have to indicate saan mo hahanapin yung katapat na account, yung cash. In our uh, case, dun sa general journal, nasa column B siya. So, lahat ng mga account na doon sa B column, iselect mo lang yung, ano, yung top column, yung letter B. Yan, automatic lalagay niya na B, then tutuldok B. So, doon niya hanapin yung account, and then press comma. And then, yung criteria naman is yun yung account, yung cash. So, click mo lang yung cash. So, finally, you have to indicate... Saan hahanapin ni Excel yung amount? And since ang cash nga is an asset which has a normal debit balance, uunahin natin sa formula is yung debit column under the general journal. So in this case, that is yung column C. Click mo lang yan and then hit close parenthesis. Yun. So basically by creating this formula, we are telling Excel na, Excel, please determine ano ba yung total na cash debit. But since this is a trial balance, kailangan nating uh, isubtract ano ba yung total ng uh, credit sa cash. So, from this point, magma-minus tayo ng sum if then ng credit ng cash. First, we have to indicate saan ba hahanapin yung cash account. In this case, doon pa rin naman siya sa column B. So, iselect mo lang yung column B. And then, comma. And then, hanapin natin yung criteria which is actually yung cash. Yung, yan, yung F3. And then, comma ulit. This time, yung sum range mo is mga credit naman. So, indicate lang natin dito sa journal na dito siya sa column D. Yan, and then close parenthesis. Enter mo na, lalabas na yung running balance niya. Ayun o, so 93,680. Since ang cash is an asset, we can simply copy-paste yung formula sa mga kamukhang asset. What I mean is ito, prepaid insurance, debit balance din yan. Yung machine, normally debit din. As well as rent, supplies, accounts receivable. So hanggang dito, Pwede copy-paste mo lang yung formula dito. Ayan. And then, since ano nga, ito nga, normally debit, itong mga formula na ito, pwede i-copy-paste na rin natin siya dun sa ibang type account. Hindi lang sa asset na may normal debit balance. So, halimbawa, is yung withdrawal, ito. Di ba, normally debit yan. So, i-copy-paste mo lang din yung formula. Yan, and then yung lahat ng expenses, debit naman yan, di ba? So, paste mo lang yung formula. O, automatic na siya, o. Oh. Yan, and then, uh, from this point, gagawin naman natin yung sa mga account na may normal credit balance. So, babalik ta rin mo lang yung sum if mo. Uunahin mo yung credit column muna ng journal, and then ima-minus mo yung sum nila sa debit.
So again, in syntax ng sum if first, you have to find or uh, indicate saan niya hahanapin yung account. So refer ka lang dun sa general journal mo, BB. And then ano yung criteria? So that would be the accumulated depreciation cell. Yan, and then indicate mo lang yung sum range. This time, unahin mo yung credit column of the general journal. Yan, and then minus mo naman yung sum if noong debit column. So same procedures lang din. Indicate saan hahanapin yung account, what is the criteria, and then indicate the debit column. Hit enter. So as you can see, we can simply copy-paste yung formula natin sa mga credit accounts. And wag mong kalimutan yung sale kasi di ba credit balance yan. Yun, so na-determine na natin lahat ng mga balances. All we have to do is to uh, sum total. Tingnan natin kung magbabalance ba yung trial balance. So, fortunately, balance na yung trial balance. Yan. And uh, before we uh, exit on this video, gusto ko lang din padaanan ano yung mga types of error na ma-encounter natin when preparing the trial balance. Because most of the time, sa sobrang dami ng transaction, may instance talaga na hindi magbabalance yung uh, trial balance. So, ano ba yung mga types of error when it comes to TB, trial balance? To illustrate that, try natin na maliin yung isa sa mga entries natin. So, halimbawa itong entry for January 18, halimbawa lang na instead na credit tayo ng cash, is na debit din yung cash. Yan, so halimbawa ganyan ano. So, as you can see, yung intentional error na ginawa natin na doble yung debit. And kung titingnan natin yung trial balance, Hindi talaga siya balance. So pagka nagkaganyan na hindi sila tugma, first we have to obtain the difference. Difference of the uh, debit, total debit and total credit. Meron kasing dalawang type ng error when it comes to uh, trial balance. At least in the context of our illustration. First, double debit or credit. And paano yung magiging approach mo pagka may ganyang error? Divide mo lang yung difference. So, equals 7,000 divided by 2. So, ang lumabas na value is 3,5. And then, nakalagay dito sa side is find value. So, what it basically means is pwede mong hanapin yung 3,5 doon sa general journal mo dito sa C and D. Control F. Paste mo lang yung 3,5. And then, click find all. And you know, idadirect ka na ng Excel, ano yung mga potential uh, entries na may ganong value. And yun nga, so nakita natin na in this particular entry, na doble yung debit. So from this point, pwede nga correct mo na siya. And then, tama na uli yung trial balance. We also have the what we call a slide or transposition. Uh, literal na nag-slide yung decimal point. Halimbawa is um, 120 pesos. Di ba ganito yun? Ang nangyari is naging 12 pesos or pwede rin naman na naging 12,000. So it's either natagtagan ng zero, nabawasan, nagslide yung uh, decimal place. And then doon naman sa transposition, nagkapalit yung mga digits. So halimbawa is 250 naging 520 yun, something like that so itry uli natin na maliin yung uh, January 18 entry so the entry for advertising for instance halimbawa instead na 35 yun ay credit mo so naging um, 350 so 
So, nagkaroon ng slide na nagkulang ng zero. So, as you can see, obviously, magkakaroon ng difference of 3,150. If itatry natin na i-divide siya by 2, wala tayong mahanap na gantong amount. Pagkaganiyan yung error na hindi mo nakita yung divide by 2, i-divide mo naman yung difference by 9. 9. So, as you can see, pag dinivide mo siya sa 9, saktuhan yung amount. Ano? Indivisible talaga siya sa 9. In this case, ang lumabas is 350. And ang maging approach mo, paano mo naman mahanap kung uh, alin yung erroneous entry? Nagkataon lang to na 350 din yung, uh, yung kumbaga same amount sila. Pero that is not usually the case. Nagkataon lang, coincidental. So, let's try na ibahin yung case niya. Try natin yung nagkapalit yung digits. So, instead na 3,500, naging 3,050. So, yan. Ano? Nag-divide ka muna by 2, 225 for the difference. Wala lumabas. Nag-divide ka by 9, 15 lumabas. Wala ka makikita 50 dun sa journal ano na yun talaga yung mali. Ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung difference nung debit and credit. So, i-minus mo lang siya, ganyan. And then, yung nasa next line na credit. Yan. And then, pagkaganyan is you simply have to fill or populate yung entire uh, free column para mahuli natin kung nasan yung error. And then, kung saan yung may difference, so, yun. Yun na yung erroneous entry. So, as you can see ito, 450 kasi nagkaroon nga ng transposition. And from that point, all we have to do is to correct. So, 3, 5. Yun. And, so, balance na yung trial balance natin. So, that's it for this video and thank you.